kind of where is this? Anatookie Hills? <laughs> Awatookie Hills. Okay. Anatookie Foothills. Awatookie Hills. I mean that what he just said. Uh, <laughs> and this is uh, outside of Phoenix, Arizona. I'm here with an uh, OHS graduate from uh, 85? 86. 86. Not that old. Not that old. No, 86. No, that's a lot younger. Uh, <laughs> uh, Dr. Chris Coloca. Yes. Who uh, has set up and established uh, quite a prominent practice here in chiropractic, as well as uh, inventing, developing, creating, and hand building. Uh, a physics device using principles that he learned in high school physics. That's right. And then combined with uh, your learning and your education in chiropractic and your experience, you uh, developed a product that we're going to talk about. That's right. We're going to show you how we, how we use it on patients, too. Ooh, we get to see patients. Yeah. Let's go do that. This is the internal mechanisms of the adjusting instrument that we've developed. You can see where we have the solenoid and the internal slug that propels through the solenoid once there's an electromagnetic field created. The voltage comes from the, the circuit board, which is controlled by a computer chip sitting on the board. We can change the, the voltage of the force right here by means of this switch. Okay. So we have a low setting, which we can use on the neck, the medium setting for most of the spine, and then the high setting that we use on the lower back, which is a stronger area of the back. I applied for a patent on this device uh, about four years ago and received a, a patent from the government. Oh yeah? Yeah. How many people are trying to copy it? <laughs> um, there are some competitors. <laughs> There's some competitors out there. But did it with my holography thing. <laughs> <laughs> but luckily we, uh, we have that protected both in the U.S. and internationally. Okay, good. It used to be just keep mad, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, I remember, you know, two, three years ago, you yeah. work by yourself, lunch time. You at lunch, lunch time. <laughs> I see patients, and at lunch I come over here and keep mad building instruments. <laughs> <laughs> well, everybody starts somewhere. That's right. So there you go. It, so as it goes in one direction, the solenoid pushes in one direction, and the spring returns it. That's right. Uh, what kind of a frequency rate do you have with these? The, the instrument will thrust um, at six times a second, so it's six okay, hertz. Okay, six hertz. Okay, all right. Now, if you uh, if you want to get a higher frequency, you got to get less mass. That's correct. Yeah. So that's that, and, uh, and then we give them a training DVD that shows them about the features impulse. of the instrument. Impulse, force times time. That's right. Oh yeah, physics. Impulse. Learned that in high school. He did. That's it. So the trick is to apply a force, and uh, to produce a very precise motion. That's exactly it. You want to okay. apply the right force at the right time to cause the motion that we're looking for that's going to help the patient, not hurt the patient. And that's one of the reasons you develop the impulse device, because it takes away some of the human error. That's right. With the impulse device, we can have repeatable thrusts every time. Right. The force is controlled. We know exactly what the force is. And we can direct that force just at the right time to help these patients get well. We, ha we have this table designed so we can lower patients down so we can work on them while they're laying down the same way they are standing. In chiropractic practice, our goal is to reposition and increase the mobility of spinal joints. We do that by applying forces to the spine. Based on the position of the spine, we want to apply a specific force at a specific vector to best reposition and mobilize the spine. The impulse adjusting instrument allows us to use a mechanical advantage really. Ooh. It allows us to apply a direct targeted force that's repeatable time after time. It's a controlled force that's uh, very gentle and very specific. It doesn't uh, cause any pain or discomfort to the patients. By changing the voltage that goes to the solenoid, we can change the force. So we can decide what force we want to use on different parts of the body or whether a patient's younger or older. We may want to change the force. Now in a traditional chiropractic, they would use their hands to apply the forces. By pushing with their hands, they can get the forces required. The pressure is defined as the amount of force over the area. If we compare the surface area of the impulse instrument to the traditional hand, we can see that uh, the hand has got maybe four to five times as much surface area. Have you done the calculation? It is approximately five times. Okay, about well, five times the surface. Boy, am I good or what? Yeah. All right. To get the same pressure as this, he would have to apply five times as much force. And the idea is to do the adjustment as precisely as possible, and so if you can do it with his least amount of force, 
needed, you can accomplish the same goal with uh, a lot more precision. Am I correct? Did I just say anything wrong there? That's exactly it. All right. So if you pay attention in physics class, you might be able to find something useful for the rest of your life. Hey, uh, set me down, will you, Chris? That's a great idea. Ah. Oh, this is great. I'm going to get launched into space. <laughs> I love this. What a bit. Well, you oh, yeah. your neck. We should, we should get you Oh, the yeah. <laughs> get me up. Hey, anybody know where I can get some breakfast around here? Yeah, it's hot, but it's the dry heat. <laughs>